What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Grim Runner. We back at it again with another video today. It's your boy Clef Mankato. And today I want to talk about these 245 tires that come stock on a Dodge Challenger. And why these tires suck, man. These 245s, they definitely got to go. They definitely got to go. Now, I think this video is real fitting for the time that we am right now. We actually coming up on the fall and the winter season. So it's time to go ahead if you got these 245s and swap them out for some 275s or some 315s, man, because that's the best way you're gonna get the optimum performance. That's the best way that your tires are gonna stick and you're gonna get some super good zero to 60 times. As you guys pretty much saw on my zero to 60 video, well, it don't help that I live in Vegas in this hot climate, but it also don't help that these little skinny 245 tires actually have no traction none whatsoever so tires actually make a big difference man so we go go ahead and jump in the car i'm gonna see if i can give you guys a example of how these tires actually spin out every single time you you punch on the gas man and we're gonna make it do what it do man let's get it all right y'all so in this video i'm actually going to show you my receipt from what was it i went to superior tire i'm going to show you what they quoted me to actually get the same uh the same tires that come stock on the challenger rt which are the goodyear eagle sports um but first what i want to do everybody know we got that car meet coming up this saturday so everything still is a go 100 percent the only thing that might change is the actual menu just to be on the safe and sanitary side and not having to worry about the actual park grill being clean, even though I was gonna put foil and everything on the grates. What I might do instead of the wings and the links is uh, just order some pizza and some wings for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's really the only thing, um, but everything else is still a go. Car meet this Saturday, 3 p.m., Cornerstone Park. That's the meet and greet, and then we go do the ride out uh to red rock canyon man and also man you know what while, while i'm talking if you're new to the channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe hit the like button we almost at 1000 subscribers man i appreciate every single one of y'all man we, we 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 growing real quick man we growing and hopefully you guys are loving the content that i'm pushing out i'm trying my best to push out the best possible content to make sure the content is engaging and just to make sure that I actually plan out my content, man. So I appreciate every single one of y'all. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all, man. And I just want to let you know that I'm thankful, that I'm thankful, man. So one more thing before we jump into the actual meat of the video. 1,000 subscribers. Once we reach that 1,000 sub mark, we go do the tire stickers. But I'm also going to give you one more opportunity. We almost there. I'm going to give y'all one more opportunity to choose, man. Do y'all want the tire stickers? Do you want a hundred dollar cash app? Or do you want me to pay for your mid muffler delete? Which I guess would still be like a hundred dollars because that's pretty much what it costs. So please make sure if you want to participate in the giveaway, comment below. Let me know what you want, man. And I don't want to take too much of y'all time. Let's go ahead and jump right into the meat of this video about these 245 tires. All right, y'all, so I want to show y'all real quick what I got quoted at Superior Tire for basically the same brand, which is the Goodyear Eagle Sport. These come stock on the Challengers. I'm pretty sure they come stock on all Challengers, but for the 275 40R20, they were actually looking to charge me. So it was $201.99 regular price, but with the discount, they came out to about uh, 160 per tire now i'm not 100 percent sure if i want to go with this actual brand or not again just because you know my plan is to play around and kind of dog these tires so i'm thinking about going the aturo route but i just wanted to give you guys a quick run through of what to expect if you go with the same now the only thing is with they install price not really that bad for the labor and everything they 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 kind of trying to jug a little bit to me man so that's why i kind of walked away they they quoted me 421.17 for the actual tires and for the install but i just wanted to show y'all that real quick now we about to go ahead and 
take the car for a spin and we go see if we can catch these 245 spinning out of control man Uh, so I just wanted to get those quick runs in real quick seem like all of a sudden look we on this secluded road back here and literally all of a sudden everybody and their mama want to drive down this road right now but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of the tires on these things the tires do not stick the tires do not stick at all man so 245's got to go Definitely, if you get a chance, you want to go ahead and upgrade to 275s for sure. And I can guarantee, at least from what I've been seeing online and from some of the chats, you know, in the community with the guys, once you upgrade to the 275s, man, you get much better traction on the road. These cars like 275s a lot better than these slim little 245s, man. 245s got to go, man. They got to go. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys just that quick rundown on why, why tires actually matter. Because when you think about it, the tires are actually what touches and grips the actual road. So if you got bad tires, there's no way you're going to be able to improve your numbers. There's no way you're going to be able to improve your numbers, man. So 275, a 315. I, don't, I necessarily don't know if a 315 will be able to fit on the size wheel that I have. I actually have the 20 by 8 factory wheel on the blacktop package. But the good thing about the 20 by 8 I did my research. I went to, as you can see from the actual quote that I got from the tire shop, I went to the tire shop and the 275s actually will fit on that 20 by 8. So if you have the 20 by 8, I think that's a very important point that I want to make. If you had a 20 by 8, the 275s will fit. Now, as far as brand recommendation, it all depends on what you want to do. Now, if you just get in the tires just to kind of like dog the car, not, well, I'm not going to say that, not necessarily dog the car out. But if you get in the tires just to kind of have fun, my recommendation for what I've been seeing is the Arturos. Um, I think it's like 850 or something like that. I can't I can't remember off the top of my head the exact model, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So that's the route that I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the Arturo brand tires instead of getting like Goodyear's or Nittos or something like that because I'm actually gonna be testing this thing and pushing it to the limit to see how good of a zero to 60 I can get in the stock RT before I start actually doing some other performance upgrades. And that pretty much wraps it up for the video, man. So once again, if you're new to the channel, if you're in the community, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Make sure you go ahead and drop a comment, engage. Let me know your thoughts on the actual tire upgrade and what brand you actually recommend let's get the discussion going man and that's it man for all the guys that's coming out to the car meet on saturday i see you guys on saturday all of y'all stay safe y'all stay blessed out there and y'all have a good day man